In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to use the Blender Python API, specifically on how to rotate an object and how to create an animation of rotating that object. So today's video is going to be uh, basically all code, so uh, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so here I've moved over to my Blender program. Here we can see that there's an object, uh, just a cube, and then it's a little bit rotated. I'm going to go over to our scripting tab and kind of show you um, the code and how it works. So let me start with the code and a quick walkthrough of what it does, and then I'm going to show you some examples of um, the outputs of it uh, after we get through that. So first, um, let's just start with the imports going from top to bottom. So first we import BPY, which is the library that gives us access to the Blender Python API. Um, and then we give us, we import math, which gives us some useful math functions that we'll use later on. I'm importing the list type um, because I'll use it to make our code a little bit more type safe, a little bit easier to see kind of what's going on. Um, but this is pretty irrelevant for actual rotation. So now below this, um, I have a helper function called add cube that, well, adds a cube to our scene. Um, I talk about more about this in another video that I put out on the Blender Python API and how to create shapes. Um, but basically it's just a helper to make it easy to add cubes to the scene. Now jumping down here uh, to the main function, this is actually where we are creating our scene. So first off, we're using that add cube helper function to create a cube at the origin at zero, zero, zero. Um, we're creating that, we're grabbing that cube that we just created and saving it into a variable for easy access. And then we're gonna set that cube's name to new cube. You'll notice that this is the same as it is up here. Um, so now let me just run that and kind of show you how that works. I will comment this out so you know that this isn't doing anything. Let me save that. Let me delete this and then run it. So here you are is the, the cube um, just at the uh, origin with nothing, no rotation or anything like that. So now let's get into how we are actually setting a rotation. Um, so the way that we can just set a static rotation so we can just like move the object and it'll just stay there um, is we can grab our new cube and select this rotation Euler property um, and then just set it to the angles that we want. Now note that these angles are in radians, so you will need that math.radians um, function and then you can put your degrees in here um, if you prefer to work in degrees um, like I do. So here I'm setting that rotation to 0, 0, 0045 um, and if I delete this cube here and then run our code again, you can see that the rotation is 0, 0, 0045. So that's how you can set a very static rotation where it's just going to stay there. Now, what if you want to animate this? Um, and here we can talk about that below. So let me comment this code out and then uncomment this. So before we can talk about animations, first we need to talk a little bit about how Blender does it maybe differently than other programming paradigms you may have seen. So Blender uses what are called keyframes. And whereas in most programs you may have used, there's a draw function and for every frame, it's you're going to tell it how you want to update it from frame to frame. Um, Blender's keyframes are really about snapshotting states of the world at specific times, and then you let Blender do the work of doing the translation from time A uh, to time B or whatever your checkpoints might be. So to actually accomplish this rotation animation, what we're going to need to do is get our object in the beginning state, take a snapshot of that or a keyframe. Um, and then move our object to the next state and then take another snapshot of that. Then we can tell it that we want it to render and it will render between those keyframes doing the interpolation uh, internally. Okay, so that's a lot of talk. Let me just walk through the, the few lines of code that we need to do this. Um, and hopefully that makes sense. So first off, uh, we get our new cube and we're just setting um, the rotation Euler to 000, um, which is basically just resetting it to uh, where we wanted it before. Now I'm going to take a keyframe um, or take that snapshot of the world here uh, by doing keyframe insert onto my object. Um, this data path is telling it what property you are trying to take a snapshot of. You can imagine that maybe I moved the location but I don't want to take a snapshot of it but I do want to take a snapshot of the rotation and that's exactly what's happening here. Um, I say I want you to snapshot the rotation and I want the time that this is at it at frame equals to one. Now we don't really have time uh, in this program. Um, frames are basically our closest 
relation to time. You can imagine that if you're running at 30 FPS, uh, frame 30 will be one second, but 60 FPS, um, 30 will just be half a second. So this is kind of time, but not quite, just keep that in mind. So now moving on to where I want the cube to end. Well, I want it to end at that 45 uh, degree angle like we have here. So again, I'm gonna set the rotation um, to that 45 degree angle. And now I'm gonna take another snapshot of it, this time at frame 30. Um, for where I want it to be by that frame. Now I'll be running um, my simulations at about 30 FPS, which is why I picked 30. Um, one second seems like it was good enough for this tutorial. So now let's see that in action. Um, let me just kill this cube so that you know that it's actually coming from this code. Um, and now we can see the actual rendering uh, between these keyframes by coming back over here to layout and using the keyframe tool. So let me just jump to the start point, which comes to frame one, and then I can press play, and we can see it actually iterating between that frame one and frame 30 uh, keyframes. Here they are. So yeah, that's basically how you can get started uh, with rotations using the Blender Python API. Now, if you want some of the source code or any more of the explanations of what's going on in the code, um, I have that up on my website, so you can just grab it, copy it, um, paste it wherever you want. As part of this video, I was, of course, instantiating some objects, and I did create a, another video with source code that shows you how to create some of the basic objects that you might see in the Blender universe. And again, you can use those as some building blocks for scripting your own objects in Blender. Finally, if you have any questions about anything I said in this video or anything about you know the Blender, Python domains, feel free to uh, add those comments below or send me a message, and I'll try to answer them best I can. I think that's it for this video. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, hand me dot out.